am very sorry to hear it was Greetings, Wolverine. Yeah. I Well done. You have proven yourself to be valiant warriors. The door to the Hall of the Honored Fallen is now open to you. Hello, valiant warriors. Welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen where the courageous dead of Asgard feast and await the final battle, Ragnarok. Welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. This is the Hall of Valhalla. The astral spirits of all brave Asgard warriors who have fallen in battle are brought here. Why they feast and boast of battles that were, and plan for the greatest battle that is to come, Ragnarok. The choosers of the slain are warrior maidens known as Valkyrie. They appear over battlefields and choose the fallen who are worthy to sit in the hall of Valhalla. No. What you see are their astral forms, psychic energy of the warriors gathered before death. That is the fabled time that marks the end of our world. Odin will lead the gods in a final battle against the army of Loki. It is our destiny to battle in Ragnarok. Why should we seek otherwise? Fare thee well, warrior. What a great day this is! Dr. Doom. You 
pick the best. Well done. Sit and drink with me. I need your drink. There's enough food for an army here. Now this is my kind of party. Look at all this food. <laughs> Almost makes me wish I was dead. Me and Stretch was roommates back in college. Of course, we wouldn't have been if his first roommate hadn't have been such a yo-yo. Victor Von Doom. The guy took an instant dislike into Reed and me, which is quite a surprise, considering what an amiable chap I am. I kind of gave it to myself. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly something you'd see walking down the fashion runways of Paris. But wouldn't you be? I got a face even a grandma could hate. Yep. After college, I joined the Air Force and got my wings. I'm not half bad as a jet jockey, if I do say so myself. Oh, it always comes back to this, don't it? Yeah, I was flying when the ship got hit by that radiation. That's when we became the Fantastic Four. No problem. I tell you what, life is sweet at the X-Mansion. If it weren't for that big blue ape guy asking me when I'm gonna leave, stay there forever. I've got one last idea to get solid evidence against her, but I need the password into her shield account. It's either Ivan Petrovich or Dr. Inez. Talk to Hank Pym about it. How are you? He's one of the few men who ever treated the Black Widow well. Ivan was her chauffeur, and later turned out to be her surrogate father. He had raised her after her parents were killed in a fire. You'll have to ask the Black Widow about that name. Come. I am very sorry to... Yes, he is a dreadful man. I hate to even think of his name. He created a drug known as the Deathless Frenzy. It sent its victims into a blind rage and then consumed their bodies. Completely reprehensible. It was... Drink with me! I need more drink. There's enough food for <laughs> oh, 
Isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and introduce myself? Thanks. When you get back from your mission, I'll have some solid evidence against Black Widow. Beast and a friend of his, uh, Forge, I think, had some kind of teleportation device they used on me. But they told me I have to get back to Earth pretty quick. Something about keeping a lock on me could tear the space-time continuum and, I don't know, destroy reality as we know it? Makes me wish I was a mutant. Huh, they've got everything there. Tennis courts, a pool, oh, and a sub-basement full of high-tech gear. That would be great. But Beast keeps following me around and asking me when I'm gonna leave. Ah, uh, you can thank me later. With cash. Hello, and welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Pretty fantastic place, huh? <laughs> no, he's married to me. He might be an IQ point or two above me, but let's not forget, I've got advanced degrees in four biochemistry fields, and I'm pretty good at math, too. It all started when Reed was building a rocket ship a few years back. He had heard the government was going to pull funding, so he decided to take the ship up before the project could be discontinued. Since Reed couldn't handle a ship alone, Ben Grimm went as the pilot, while my brother Johnny and I went as additional crew. Well, the leader of our team is my husband, Reed Richards, who's also known as Mr. Fantastic. Then there's his best friend, Ben Grimm, although most people call him The Thing. Next is my brother, Johnny Storm. He likes to be called the Human Torch. And then there's me, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. There's no problem at all. Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Ha! Don't make me laugh. A puny man like that is of no concern to me. Though I must admit, his stare is rather unnerving. Even to one such as I, who have endured the horrid sights of countless battlefields. I am Valkyrie, a chooser of the slain. My warrior sisters and I ride over battlefields and escort the worthy fallen to Valhalla. Yes, here they are honored and can feast to their heart's content. Then, on the day of Ragnarok, they will battle once again and prove their courage one last time. I can see a fire around them, a death glow, that signals the warrior is close to the end. Few other gods have this power. Long ago, I was allowed to roam the battlefields of Earth and look for worthy warriors. But Odin put a stop to that. I am now limited to the battlefields of Asgard. Fare thee well, human. Food! More food! Yeah, you know, this team needs a catchy theme song. Something that mentions shaking your booty. Hmm, we can call ourselves Deadpool and his lackeys. And we can all get matching uniforms. Something in a dark blue. That color really sits off my eyes. Yeah, yeah we do. With capes. Look at Dr. Doom. He gets all kinds of respect. And you know why? Because he has a big scary cape. Well, there is that. But you can't deny the cape really makes him look tough. But let's go him one better. Let's wear elbow pads and shin guards with spikes coming out of them. Now that's tough. No, I don't think so. You know how people talk crazy because they're insane? I talk crazy to keep from going insane. If only you knew what I've got twisting around in my brain. Thanks to Weapon X. Yeah, I went there because they promised to cure my cancer. In a way, they gave me a healing factor like Wolverine's. 
And so many scars, I'm never taking this face mask off. I like your thinking, Sunshine. Hey, we could even form a band. Oh, heck yeah, just think of it. With Storm singing lead, Wolverine on the bass, and The Thing on drums. And not to brag, but I play a pretty mean bagpipe. I got a rash. Want to see it? Greetings, and welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. That is putting it lightly. Though we were raised as brothers, Loki has always held me in great despair. I don't know. Perhaps because he is of frost giant blood. Perhaps he needed more attention from our father as we were growing up. Whatever the cause, he is a vile and deceitful creature. For many years, my father overlooked Loki's misbehavior, and many were the times that he tried to bring peace to us. But alas, he failed. My half-brother's hatred grew, and his name changed from the god of mischief to the god of evil. Since then, he has not only attempted to destroy me, but to take the throne of Asgard. He has come close several times. Once, he switched bodies with me and assumed my identity. Another time, though it embarrasses me to recall, Loki turned me into a frog. I, my father once even imprisoned Loki in a tree. Of course, no prison can hold the god of evil. He escaped and has gone on to commit numerous crimes against Asgard and Earth. Sit and drink with you. Fare thee well. Hello. This is quite the party they have here, isn't it? People are still pretty shocked about losing our teammate in Mephisto's realm, but having Weasel there is a nice distraction. Beast discovered Weasel down in the sub-basement hacking into Cerebro. Forge caught him trying to get into the X-Jet hangar, and Emma Frost found him trying to start up Wolverine's motorcycle. There is enough food for an army. He's always struck me as a man who's fair and wise. But after seeing the Super Soldier Serum program and the Atlantean Outpost, I don't know. Has Colonel Fury lost the ability to know right from wrong? What justifies creating those bestial super soldiers or spying on innocent neighbors? I am a mutant. I was born with the power to affect the weather. It didn't activate until I became a teenager. Yes, for some people, a little too different. Take Senator Kelly, for instance. He'd like to have all mutants rounded up and put in jail just because they are different. Anytime, my friend. And let me regale you with another tale of battle. <laughs> <laughs> 